We know that flooding is a big concern across many areas this morning. And joining us this morning is from the Harris County Flood Control District. Jeff Linder, thank you so much for joining us um, on, early on this Saturday morning. Talk about the flood conditions right now in Harris County. Yeah, we still have flooding ongoing in that uh, San Jacinto River Basin, so the West Fork and the East Fork. The good news is the East Fork at FM 1485, we did see a crest mm -hmm. in the river yesterday evening, and it is starting to fall and starting to fall pretty quickly. So while we still have widespread impacts ongoing out there, the river is not going to rise anymore from this particular flood wave that's working its way down to Lake Houston. However, on the East Fork over at Umble and Kingwood, we are still looking at an additional rise in the river for another Oh, a foot and a half to two and a half feet as we go into this afternoon and this evening. So we are going to continue to see increasing water in and around the Kingwood area and in the Umble area. And then that is moving down through Lake Houston into the lower portion of the San Jacinto River where we do have flooding ongoing uh, throughout that basin. A couple other areas I want to mention, the lower portion of Loose Bayou near FM 2100, there is backwater from Lake Houston going into some of that area. So some high water in some of those subdivisions around FM 2100 and Loose Bayou. And also Gum Gully uh, near Diamond Head, this is below the Lake Houston Dam. The San Jacinto River water is backing up into that tributary and producing some high water there around Diamond Head. We don't anticipate any structure flooding at that location, but it could get close to some of the roads and maybe some of the lowest structures. So a lot of water moving very quickly down these rivers. Um, talked a little bit about the rain there in that forecast earlier. We're certainly watching that for tonight and tomorrow morning. We don't think that's gonna impact the river levels okay. that we have currently in progress. But depending on how much rain falls and where it falls, it could slow the recessions into early next week or result in new flood waves that come down from the north. So we're, we're keeping a very close eye on the forecast going into tonight and tomorrow morning. Yeah, and Jeff, and you touched on an important point with the possibility of, of more rain in the area. I wanted to ask about evacuations. Do you foresee anyone else is going to be asked or forced to, to leave their homes um, from now throughout tomorrow? We do not anticipate any need for additional evacuations. You know, uh, for the most part, evacuations should be completed at this time for those areas, especially on the East Fork. Okay. Again, the river has peaked and is starting to fall, so it's not going to get any worse on the East Fork of the river. Okay. We still have some issues that we're going to have on the West Fork going into this afternoon, this evening. So I know there's a lot of people in that Kingwood area that are looking at this very closely. The water is close to some of the homes. It's into some of the streets and in the lower portions of Kingwood. So just be mindful through the day to day, things are going to get a little bit worse in the Kingwood area. Another foot and a half to two feet of water is going to rise in that area. That is going to move up some of those little tributaries in Kingwood um, that may take it a little bit further away from the river. So that's the area we're asking people to really pay attention today. And one other thing to remind everybody, we're not expecting a lot of rain today. And just because it's not raining doesn't mean we're having, doesn't mean we're having significant impacts out there in North and East Harris County. So so be very cautious if you're traveling up in that area. If you're moving around out there, there are going to be widespread flooded roadways. Never drive into water. We have seen multiple people drive into water the last couple of days and require rescue from first responders. Jeff, with the Harris County Flood Control District, thank you so much for joining us this morning. And I know you guys over there are working 24 hours a day. So thank you for your help as well. We appreciate it.